Hi everyone, I will be starting with expected questions for ICC 10th Mathematics. Let's begin. So, uh, solve the following in equation and write the solution set. You have to find out the solution set. For this, the question is 13x minus 5 less than 15x plus 4. We have to write these separately. 15x plus 4 less than 7x plus 12. So, this will be 15x minus 13x and here it will be minus 5 minus 4. That is minus 9 less than 2x. x is greater than minus 9 by 2. In this case, 15x minus 7x will be 8x and uh, 12 minus 4 will be 8. That means x is less than 1. Right? Now, we will draw the solution set. First, I'll write solution set will be x is from uh, minus 9 by 2 to 1 and it belongs to real number. Again, you have a natural number, hota to, uh, values 1, 2, 3, we plot it like circles. Ke saath, okay? And when uh, and this circle will be when the number line mein wo include ho hai, right? Now, we will draw kar now the value of x is in between minus 4.5 and 1. Okay. So uh, minus 4.5 is here. We have to make a hollow circle. Because here less than the sign is that means a hollow circle. And a filled circle will be drawn when it is less than equal to or greater than equal to. Right. And less than 1. Hollow circle again. And this is the solution set. That is the values in between minus 4.5 and 1. Now I will start with trigonometric tables. A uh, question based on it. Before that I would like to uh, revise. Sin 90 minus theta is equal to cos theta. Right. Now in this case we can write sin 65 as sin 90 minus 25. Divided by cos 25. Plus Cos 32 can be written as 90 minus 58 by sin 58 minus sin 28 into 1 by cos 60 plus cos x square 30. You know that cos x 30 is equal to 2. That means 2 square 4. Now sin 90 minus 25 is cos 25 by cos 25. Then cos 90 minus 58, that will be sin 58. And then um, sin 28 divided by cos 62. See, I can write this sin 90 minus 62, right? Divided by cos 62. So now sin 90 minus theta is cos theta. So this will be 1 minus 1 plus 4. 1 plus 1 minus 1 plus 4 that will be uh, 6 minus 1 equal to 5. Now in this question they have given uh, what is this of a parallelogram a b c d and take, uh, they have taken in this order a is 3 comma 6 b is 5 comma 10 you can try this question it is very easy c is 3 comma 2 and you have to find out the diagonals uh, sorry, the coordinate of the fourth vertex D. I'll also make the diagonals. This is the diagonal. Okay, fine. Now the first part is to find the coordinates of the fourth vertex D. How will you find uh, find out this? So it, it is very simple. See, just a second. Okay. Now you have to find out the midpoint of AC. Midpoint of AC will be C coordinates of O. Finding out value of X. This will be 3 plus 3 divided by 2. That is 6 by 2. 3. And Y will be uh, 6 plus 2. Divided by 2. 
that is 8 by 2, it is equal to 4. So the coordinates are 3 comma 4. Okay. Now see, uh, for DB, we have to find out the coordinates of D. So this will be, let us assume the coordinates are X1 and Y1. Coordinates of D, see. X1 plus 5 divided by 2 is equal to 3. And Y1 plus 10 divided by 2 is equal to 4. Finding out the coordinates of D, X1 will be 1 and Y1 will be minus 2. So the coordinates here will be 1 comma minus 2. Alright. Second part is of the uh, length of diagonal BD. Okay. I will do the second part here itself. Length of BD. You know the formula of length. It is under root of y2 minus y1 whole square plus x2 minus x1 whole square. So I can take this uh, b as x1 y1 and uh, d as x2 y2. Right. This will be under root of x2 uh, y2 minus y1 whole square plus x2 that is 1 minus x1 whole square. So this will be 144 plus 16. That means under root of 160. So answer is 4 root 10 units. Perfect. Now third is equation of side AB of the parallelogram ABCD. So I just remove this part. Okay. Now see. You have to find out the equation of side AB. First we have to find out the slope of AB. The formula of slope is y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. So y2 here. Uh, see, this is A and this is B. X1, uh, X1, Y1 and X2, Y2. You can take this as X1, Y1. It doesn't matter. The answer will be same in both the cases. So, Y2 minus Y1. Okay. Divided by X2 minus X1. Uh, I have written like uh, 10 minus 6. And 5 minus 3. You can also write it as uh, 6 minus 10 divided by 3 minus 5. Right? Both answers will be same. 4 divided by 1. That is 4. M is equal to 4. <coughs> now see. Let's take this. Now equation of a line. The formula is y minus y1 is equal to m x minus x1. So, uh, I'll take x1 y1 as 5 comma 10. y minus 10 is equal to 4 into x minus 5. y minus 10 is equal to 4x minus 20. Um, here it was 2, sorry. m is equal to 2. So, here it will be 2. 2x minus 10. There was a little a silly problem. m is equal to 2. Okay. So y is equal to y minus 2x is equal to 0. This is the answer. Now this question is based on a circle and its theorems. Please revise all the theorems. They are going to be very helpful. And you should practice a lot of questions from this chapter. See, uh, now in this case, we can um, take in triangle OSP. Angle OSR is equal to 90 degree. What is the reason? The radius is perpendicular to tangent. See, 
this is the radius and this is the tangent so this will be 90 degree right you can find out a uh, value of x in triangle tsr see this triangle tsr so it will be x plus 90 plus 65 is equal to 180 degree sum of angles of a triangle right 180 degree so x will be 25 degree now if you see angle soq it is equal to 2 of angle str this is soq that is why it is <clears throat> two times of str okay what is the reason angle at center is equal to two times angle at circumference okay now angle soq is equal to 2 into 25 that means y is equal to 50 degree. Easy. Now in triangle OSP. See we have uh, 50 degree here. For this angle. We have S 90 degree. And we have to find out Z. Again we will use the triangle property. In triangle OSP. 50 plus 90 plus Z is equal to 180 degree. So the value of Z will be 40 degree. What must be subtracted from 16x cube minus 8x square plus 4x plus 7 so that the resulting expression has 2x plus 1 as a factor. Now uh, we can see that uh, px is equal to this and gx is equal to 2x plus 1. Okay. So uh, the remainder here. If I take 2x plus 1 equal to 0, then x is equal to minus 1 by 2. To find out the remainder, you will have to put minus 1 by 2 in this equation. So, the remainder will be 16 into minus 1 by 8, minus 8 into 1 by 4, plus 4 into uh, minus uh, 1 by 2, plus 7. So, you will get 1. So 1 is subtracted from px so that the gx is a factor of p. Now the question here is if 7m plus 2n divided by 7m minus 2n is equal to 53. Sorry 5 by 3. It is 5 by 3. Use properties of proportion to find out m by n and second part m square plus n square divided by m square minus n square. So, I will apply componendo and dividendo. You will have to write the whole statement. I am just writing it in shortcut. So, uh, this will be 7m plus 2n plus 7m minus 2n divided by 7m plus 2n minus 7m plus 2n equal to 5 plus 3 divided by 5 minus 3. So, after solving, you will get 14m by 4n equal to 8 divided by 2. So, um, m by n will be 8 by 7. That is, 8 is to 7. Got it? Moving on to the second part. Since m by n is equal to 8 by 7, I can uh, square both sides. This will be m square divided by n square is equal to 64 by 49. Again, applying componendo and dividendo, see, you will get m square plus n square divided by m square minus n square. That will be equal to 64 plus 49 divided by 64 minus 49. So, this will be 113 by 15 answer. I will also make part 2 video on expected questions of mathematics. Thank you for watching this. All the best for your examination.